Why does your OB care about your blood pressure so much? Especially if you've never even had blood pressure issues in your life. Because now that you're pregnant, your OB is checking it every time you go in for your appointment, even as often as once a week or more. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what they're watching for and what you need to know about it. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant and I specialize in women's health and gynecology. On this channel, we talk about all things about pregnancy, being a mom, and women's health. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. But before I jump into the meat of this video, I wanna know what brought you here. So are you pregnant now? And if so, are you concerned about high blood pressure? Make sure to put that in the comment section below. So high blood pressure in pregnancy is called gestational hypertension. Gestational meaning during pregnancy and hypertension meaning high blood pressure. And it's something that if your OB picks up on with one of your routine visits, they're gonna start watching it more closely. And when they're looking at your blood pressure, they wanna make sure that your reading is below 140 over 90. And if your reading is 140 over 90 or above, don't panic, they're gonna check it again. Sometimes they're gonna have you lie down on your left side for a few minutes before they check it again. But if it's back down to normal, great. But if it's still high, they're gonna wanna keep a closer eye on it. And if you have at least one more reading that is 140 over 90 or above, then you officially have gestational hypertension. Now, does this automatically mean that bad things are gonna happen? Of course not. Most of the time, you're just monitored, maybe you have to take some medication, and then your pregnancy and your delivery aren't affected at all. But your OB will also be watching for signs of things that high blood pressure might lead to, things that are much more serious, so something called preeclampsia, placenta abruption, and then also slowed growth of the baby. Basically, preeclampsia means that the high blood pressure is causing damage to some of your organs, and one of the easiest ways to detect this is a urine test. This can help to see if there's any protein in your urine indicating that your kidneys are affected. Preeclampsia can affect both you and your little one, so you need to be watching for symptoms. And let your OB know right away. So symptoms to watch for, severe persisting headache, sudden onset of shortness of breath, any kind of vision changes like flashes or blurry or double vision or abdominal pain. And in severe cases, preeclampsia could escalate to something called eclampsia, which is where you start to have seizures. That's why it's super important that your doctor keeps a close eye on any symptoms of preeclampsia to ensure that you and your baby are safe. Now, anyone can develop preeclampsia when they're pregnant, but you are at a higher risk to developing it if this is your first pregnancy, if you've already had high blood pressure before you became pregnant, if you were pregnant with multiples like twins or triplets, if you've had kidney disease, or if you or any of your family members have had preeclampsia before, if you have gestational diabetes, or if you're obese. Your OB is also gonna be watching for something called placenta abruption. This is where the placenta separates away from the uterus before the baby is born. This is dangerous, and it needs to be prevented if at all possible. So if you're having any kind of bleeding at all, you need to make sure to let your OB know. Now, it's important to note that if you had high blood pressure before you were pregnant, or even if your blood pressure is found to be elevated before you reach 20 weeks of pregnancy, it's considered chronic hypertension, not gestational hypertension. Even still, you're gonna be asked to continue to monitor your blood pressures and may even need to take medications. Now, if you were prescribed blood pressure medication for high blood pressure before you were pregnant, it's best to talk to your OB before you were pregnant to make sure that the medication that you're on is safe to be on during pregnancy. Most of the time, the medications prescribed for high blood pressure in a non-pregnant patient aren't considered safe with pregnancy and they're gonna wanna switch you to something different. Whether you have chronic high blood pressure or pregnancy-induced high blood pressure, your OB might want you to keep an eye on your blood pressures at home. So it's really a good idea to get yourself a blood pressure notebook so that you can write down your blood pressures at home. This helps your OB to notice any trends that might be going on. So you can just get a notebook, but I really like a blood pressure notebook like this. It's really cool because it has a place to write your blood pressure and your pulse, the time and the date that you checked it. There's a blank spot where you can write down any notes that you need to. It's a really thorough book. I will link to it in the video description. There's a lot of them out there. This one's my favorite though. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just think that this is a really good thorough book to have on hand. Your OB is gonna give you recommendations for your activity level. Now, unlike chronic high blood pressure where patients are usually advised to exercise and to try to lose weight, when you have gestational high blood pressure, your OB may not want you to be doing strenuous exercises. And sometimes they don't want you to exercise at all 
and sometimes they might even have you do bed rest. Exercise won't improve your blood pressure in this situation. In fact, the only way to make your gestational hypertension go away is by delivering your baby. Of course, the goal is for you to be able to deliver your baby full term. That, of course, is gonna be the best for you and your baby. So ultimately, just remember, you didn't do anything to cause your gestational hypertension. Just make sure to go to all your prenatal appointments, follow your OB's advice, and then keep an eye on your blood pressures at home. But hey, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to Dine in the Pink, make sure to subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. And I actually have a whole pregnancy series. I walk you through pregnancy week by week, what to expect at your OB appointment, common symptoms that you have and how to help with them baby development it's pretty thorough check out the playlist find what week you're on maybe check out a few of the pregnancy videos from before then just to catch up so I'm gonna link to that right here click on that and I will see you over there